Hey, I want to do a follow-up video on, there's a video on my guide to praying for the sick guide to sacred healing. And in a part of that guide, what I do is I tell the story of the first time I ever saw someone like miraculously healed or healed from a sacred space I've created. So I actually want to share that testimony with you today so that you can hopefully be encouraged and strengthened to go after uh, this healing thing or pursue the gifts of healing. So I want to talk a little bit about this uh, experience I had. It was actually years ago now. I was doing a lot of reading and praying. I wanted to believe in miraculous healing, but I didn't, had never seen that. I'd never been a part of that. I'd only heard like bad things or abuses, right? A lot of us are in that place where it's like, we hear a lot of bad things, so we never pursue it. But I was in a place where I was like, you know, I want to be open to this, okay? So I was doing a lot of adjusting on my theology. That's step one in that, in that video. If you've watched it, that's step one. So I was praying for a lot of opportunities for God to kind of make this real. Instead of being theory, instead of being abstract, I was praying, okay, God, if this is real, you need to give me some sort of opportunity for this. So lo and behold, you know, it was a couple months of me into praying and adjusting my theology and all of that stuff. Uh, those are steps one and two in the guide. And I, it was my birthday, actually. And, you know, being the, the person that I am, I was praying for a birthday gift from God. And the birthday gift I prayed for from God was for God to show me healing. <laughs> So I was going to a party that day. Unfortunately, it wasn't a party for me, but it was a party at a uh, friend's house, family member's house. And I had been praying up, was prayed up all morning. And I was at the party for a while and nothing was really happening. And I'm still thinking, okay, maybe there's going to be some sort of opportunity for a healing prayer today. And I was at the party and I was talking with someone and they informed me that there was a witch at the party, which... You know, this person was speaking about this in like a fearful way, like, oh, you know, this person practices witchcraft. They live down the street. This is the country. So I'm thinking, okay, I don't know what this is all about. What does that mean? Is this person like Wiccan? Does this person like do spells? I didn't really know what it meant, but I was like, okay, I need to meet this person. I'm just so curious to meet this person because it seems like it's really far out of the demographic of everyone else who's at this party. So eventually I was, I don't know, getting some punch or something and... I was approached by this woman who was older. She kind of had like these flowy old, wasn't a robe, but just flowy kind of clothes on. And you could just tell she was earthy. I don't know a better word for it, it was earthy. And I thought, oh, this must be the person. So we just started talking and I think I said, you know, oh, I heard that you're like a witch. What does that mean? And she was explaining, I don't know, her herb lore practices or I don't know. I'm not really sure what that all entailed, but I just knew that this person was involved in some way in like, witchcraft. So she's talking to me and it's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And then her boyfriend, another older gentleman, saw us talking, came over. And then it was just uncomfortable because they started talking about their like love life in really like explicit ways that I don't really know why they were doing that, but I was getting really uncomfortable. And he was like touching her and it was super weird. And all I wanted to do was leave. But it was in that moment that I, you know, started tuning into God. Again, I had remembered my prayer. I want something to happen today for, for a birthday gift. And I just started tuning into God. And I just felt God's voice or what I assumed was God's voice say to me, like, don't, don't leave. You know, you feel awkward, but don't leave. Just stay present. So she's going on and on about her love life with her boyfriend. And it was just awkward, uncomfortable, TMI. And I just felt this question kind of, you know, come out of me. And I just said, hey, you know, do you have any healing needs? Do you have any physical pain in your body? And that's just a reminder, I was discerning in that moment what God was doing and really trying to be present with what God was doing, creating that sacred space. So I asked her this question and she opens her eyes and she looks at me wide eyed, like it was the coolest thing she had heard. It was so funny. And she's like, oh, are you a healer? And I, at the time, wasn't really comfortable or familiar with that verbiage. So I said, no, I'm not a healer. I just, this is awkward, but I just said, you know, I really feel like God loves you and wants to like touch your body today or heal you today. And she just kind of stared at me. And she's staring at me and I'm feeling really awkward, really uncomfortable, feeling like this was a mistake to do this. Even though I had stepped beyond fear, I just felt so stupid. And she looked at me and she said, yeah, actually I have, I have really bad arthritis in my hands. And she was showing me, she was having obviously issues with those joints. She wasn't able to open her fingers. So she was doing this and she was clearly in a lot of pain. So I said, hey, I wanna pray for you. So I you know, took her hands and this is, you know, for going by that guide, step five, I just kind of prayed healing. So I said, you know, in Jesus name, be healed. Was not expecting anything to happen. Was honestly skeptical and awkward, feeling awkward at this point. And she goes, but 
and she opens her hands and she just goes like wide-eyed and she's like oh my god oh my god and she starts like freaking out and I'm just kind of staring at her because I don't know what's happening I don't know if she's crazy and she's faking it and she starts saying like what did you do what did you do oh my gosh it's gone the pain is gone and the pain I guess was completely gone in her hands at this time I'm still a little bit skeptical I don't know if she's just doing that to make me feel better about myself that's honestly what I was what I was thinking in that moment but she's going on and on she's starting to yell there's people who are starting to notice She's starting, like people are walking by and she's saying like, oh my gosh, my hands are healed. Who is this man who's with me? She looks at me and she goes, who are you? You know, who are you? And it made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> and I just said, well, this is God. You know, Jesus wanted to touch you today, like I said. So at this point, you know, there's a lot of excitability and that space I kind of created with her. Okay, now I'm starting to feel like I need to be out of this moment. I just said, you know, I'm so glad I could pray with you. God bless you know, this is Jesus, whatever. I, I wasn't trying to, again, force anything on her, but there was clearly something that had happened. I'm having an encounter with God from this happening where I'm realizing my doubt is coming down by seeing this made manifest and real in my experience. And, you know, I kind of went off somewhere else and she's going around and she's telling everyone that her hands are healed and she keeps doing this with her fingers. And then the, the amazing thing is I'm kind of watching her from a distance and she goes to climb up some stairs and she's crying out. She's exclaiming, oh my gosh, my legs are, you know, my legs are healed. There's no pain in my legs. So I didn't even know, but there was arthritis in her joints, in her knees or whatever. And those things were healed. So God had clearly touched her entire body. So I think I got kind of teary eyed because I had lingering skepticism. You know, I was fighting that faithless part of my brain and God was giving me this gift. And I could not believe that this God was manifesting this gift for me that I had prayed about. It was just so beautiful. And it opened so many doors for me. It, it provided so much belief. Again, it's all about making this real in our experience. It's all about taking like theory behind all this and, and taking risks to make it real in our experience so that God can be present in our experience in a tangible way. So this was a woman who everyone was kind of scared of, you know, this witchy lady. And all I did was just be present with her, create a sacred space with her, just listen, listen with my entire being, listen to what God was doing and just hear what God was doing step out, take a risk, and there was a manifestation of a gift of healing, which was really, really beautiful. And again, it goes back to being present in that tension that I talk about in the guide. If we can be present in that place of tension and just stay present, God's going to flow. God's going to do what he wants to do. Just keep the love on. So I'm, why am I sharing this? I'm not, in, I'm not sharing this to kind of, you know, present myself as a spiritual healer or present myself in a certain way. I'm sharing this to encourage you and inspire you. This is the very first time I had seen something like this happen. You know, I don't think I had prayed for, I think I had prayed for maybe 10 people before this, nothing had happened. And then this happened, which was really, really cool. In fact, there were other strings of healings. It was kind of like a domino effect that day. There were other people who, you know, healing needs just became evident. There was like a grace on the day to heal. So I just want to encourage you to like pursue this, you know, pray about this. Pray that God opens your understanding. Pray that God opens opportunities for you to be able to step out and minister in this. That's why I'm sharing. It's to encourage you. If we really can step out in faith, take some risks. The possibilities become endless. Life with God is so thrilling and so exciting. So that's it for today. I just wanted to share this uh, this quick video with you on that healing testimony. You can read more about that in my Introduction to Sacred Healing. Uh, you can get that again by signing up for my mailing list on the Mind of Christ website. Don't forget, everyone has to start somewhere. Thanks so much for your time. I will see you soon.